Hey guys, it's Cypress. We're back to playing uh, Life is Strange 2 Colors. We finished Chapter 3. And uh, we got... We found out uh, about... Uh, the USB drive from Diane. And uh, it looks like they... Uh, took one explosion off to cover another explosion called Ray. And, uh, from what, uh, Alex said, it looks like they're trying to bury something, like they're hiding something. Yeah. Yeah, I bet she freaked out and broke the first ball champion bottle. And today is the Spring Festival. And I think it did say there's gonna be another, uh, Explosion going off at the festival. Uh, USB stick, there it is. Yeah, and we gotta bring that to Pike. Okay, time to head downstairs. Yeah, I kind of have a bad feeling because what if Pike burns to want Diane? Oh, wait. Should I go upstairs? I should really head down to the park. Yeah, damn it. I had to weed. Oh, there's the bard hat. Alto the bard will ride again. <laughs> That's really fun. It's sad Ethan has to be all upset. Plus, his mom hates him. Because it was his fault.
happened last year. Yep, I remember it clear as day. Probably around. It's nice to see Jed so in his element. He was already drunk as a skunk. Boy. And I'm not advocating for it's that kind of hell of a mind you. Despite but this my occupation makes it all spring worthwhile. Fest. Jed loves this town so much. It's inspiring. <laughs> Down there. So then, where's the after party this year? After party? Come on. God. Young man like yourself. They just you hope Riley is doing all right. Like, oh no. <laughs> Honestly, what I'm getting pretty Riley? pushed. Thinking of calling it a night soon. My goodness. What is this town coming to? Used to be oh, that the spring festival Mr. wasn't complete till everyone was either asleep bar. in the park or in someone else's bed. The radio station broadcasts live from the park. Right? It almost makes it feel like a tiny Coachella. <laughs> Super Soon tiny. Tana be. So, wasn't anything good lately? This is yeah awesome but nothing new favorite I've time the new paint thinner coffee bar. Bar. that kind of enthusiasm is infectious especially for me yeah, it looks really it. fun it's so Honestly, great blood magic. i wish my tap does that spray it was spat down by the bonfire so this is that whole communal gathering thing everyone's always going on about. Uh, what's this? <laughs> oh, that's funny. That's so cute. The back base of Piazza is traveling the circus. <laughs> oh, Valkyrie. Oh, hi, Val. They even looped you into participating, huh? Oh. <laughs> Quite cute. All right, let's go to Leaf Flowers. Right, your boyfriend. You're okay, happy. so there's this young farm maid in the elvish countryside. Sets out to find her missing sister. Thank you, who Steph. Was abducted years ago. Thanks for helping me find the fun again. Ah, like you're the elf. The only one inspired by the lark today. She never expected to be friends with elf criminal, undead priest. Who's that? They find the sister. Oh boy. This... Looks like plenty of people are still out around town. Yeah. No, Mom, it's not an emergency. Trust me, I'm fine. Uh oh, you scared. Typhon is not normal. It's just, I made a mistake Typhon's coming here. Get out while you can, dude. Yeah, the bathroom is something bad's gonna happen tonight. Oh god. Aw, oh, that's sad. I couldn't have said it better myself. Happy fun. <laughs> uh oh, sis. I could go back and get a rose for Steph or Ryan. Oh. Duh. Oh, I didn't know there's a playground here. Man, I reproduced half these in the park. Oh, fun house. Might as well wander around and be social. Oh, what's this? Should I not have worn cologne? Is that too try hard? Maybe I didn't wear enough. Or maybe it's the total lack of saying anything. <laughs> yeah, it's just about crap. 
Was I supposed to give him a hug? Does he think that I think it's not a date? Aww. Look at the hangers one day, or not. Aww. Oh, this is cool. Oh my god, this is amazing. Look at this view, especially with the swing sets here. Can I sit here? No, I can't. Oh my god, this is so beautiful. I would so love to swing here. Uh oh. Two faced bitch. What, what you say, Alex? Hi, Alex. I'm going to show one of her spring best fall. Unfortunately, I had to work through it this year, but I really appreciate our conversation earlier today. It was a great night. Hope she's not on to her. I guess Riley is feeling sentimental tonight. But I haven't seen her around. Where is she? Of course, because I know they're going to receive bad comments. Maybe that's why they're disabled. Steph did a really great job putting all that together. House Guess the festival started a while ago. <laughs> Just dropped a block of alabaster on purpose because I wouldn't stop digging. Oh, they heard the commotion. Okay, that's a mess. Stuff mine. Talk here. <laughs> oh no. Stuff. Journal. Charlotte Anger is a maker of Western Tiger Film Socks. I can never jump pretty sure. Why is there blood on the paper? Okay. God, I thought Diane was gonna tuck to like I know he took the drive. Give it back.
Maybe I should read her. 300? What a nitwit. Not even close. I was that far off? Maybe I should say something before he guesses wrong. Also, the hell is your problem, lady? <laughs> yeah. Hey, I've got another guess. Yeah? I think it's closer to 700. Yeah. 700 feels right. But we have to get it exactly. Just felt that lady's heart skip a beat. I should read her again. <laughs> Hear me. They're really close to 731. Who is this girl? Hell yes! Your secret's mine. Answer. The answer is 731. Don't ask me how. 731 jelly beans. That's... That's correct. Yes! Thanks so much for your help. You rule. <laughs> no sweat. <laughs> Oh, she's pissed off. I can't believe it. How did she know? Just a lifetime of emotional trauma. Yeah. Maybe I shouldn't talk to her. Yeah. Who's playing? Yours truly. Seriously? That's awesome! Well, wait. Who else? <laughs> huh? Steph. Who else is playing? I hate you both. <laughs> we didn't want you I knew to it. <laughs> I will bust out. Who said anything about pussing out? Nobody, but only because we didn't give you the opportunity. <laughs> this is gonna be awesome, trust me. Oh boy. Oh, she never performed. Um. We've never played together before, and, uh... Anyway... Sorry if this sucks. We're gonna pick a song to play. Fuck it. Awesome. 
Awesome. When I'm a walking, I strap my stuff and I'm so strung out. I'm high as a kite and I just might stop to check you out. Let me go. On. Nice. Final. Awesome. They would totally be like good band players. Uh, it's not Charlotte. It's actually a zombie. Hey, Charlotte. You feel okay? How deep do you think? The lake, I mean. Why do you say that? I don't know. I felt horrible this afternoon. I didn't know if I could survive that feeling. But now... It's like when your leg falls asleep. And even though it's still attached, it's become something other than you. My whole life, I've always felt so deeply. But maybe this is better? I'm sorry. Charlotte, I'm so sorry. Sorry for what? I didn't mean for any of this to happen. Mm. Me neither. Yeah, I thought she meant she was gonna... Let's have fun at the festival. <laughs> okay. That rocked. I gotta admit, this is a pretty great feeling. <laughs> All right. Sounds like Ryan wants to meet me on the rooftop. All right, let's go. Let's go see Ryan. Upstairs to the rooftop. <sighs> okay. Damn, did I do this? Holy crap! It's beautiful. <laughs> Ta da! 
Dude, it's beautiful. It, it, it's a tree. <laughs> you shouldn't have. For me? <laughs> I've never been given a tree before. <laughs> <laughs> My mom used to get insomnia when I was a kid. She'd drive over here to the lantern, three in the morning, to work in the garden. Three in the morning? Sometimes she'd take me with her. It's always been a special place for me. I hope it can be for you, too. I should have been taking better care of it. Come on. You yeah, like we like totally killing that set. <laughs> You're such a rock star. Thanks for everything. I had fun. Yeah, so did the audience. You know they're gonna make you do it again next year, right? Yeah. So <laughs> definitely. Maybe. You you good? Yeah, fine. Guess I've just been too wrapped up to think about what the future looks like. <laughs> hmm. Okay. So let's think about it. Alex's future in Haven Springs. The major motion picture. <laughs> On ice. <laughs> Close your eyes. What? It's <laughs> Chilly. You can see your breath. You're walking down Main Street on the way to work. Where? How about the record store? Definitely the record shop. Oh, I'm sure Steph will appreciate that. Before you ruthlessly push her out and take her job, that is. <laughs> so after work. Sun's still up for another couple hours. It's warm now. You're carrying your jacket under your arm. What's the plan? Play guitar? Sit right here on the roof and play my guitar. Smart. Stay in practice. Only a few more months till the next Spring Fest. Anyway, someone's at the door. Who? Only the coolest person in Haven Springs. He walks up to you in an extremely cool way. <laughs> His plaid jacket <laughs> swaying the breeze. <laughs> yeah. That was my arm. The crack. I'm not trying to get you to plan out your whole life, but if you decide you wanted to put down roots, Haven Springs will always make space for you. Was that a gardening pun? No. That kind of was. Maybe. <laughs> I I really care about you, Alex. A lot. You're the most amazing person I've ever met. Oh crap. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, I don't know. It should be Cass. Ah. <laughs> ah. We 
should kiss, maybe, because it's a good spot to, you know, now's the perfect time. <laughs> oh god, I don't think I'm gonna look. Oh god. Kiss her. Kiss her. I really want to kiss you right now. <laughs> I know. Oh. Oh. Oh my god. Oh. Oh my god. Oh. Oh my god. Oh. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> that was so magical. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Wanna rejoin the festivities? I'll get you a phone cake. Oh save me one. My eyes are watering right oh, now. I'm not crying. <laughs> oh, I knew this was gonna happen. Not the USB drive part. Hey, Gabe. Can I tell you something? I think I solved it. Why you died. Who's responsible? Isn't that crazy? Yeah. I'm out of threads to pull. Which is terrifying. Because on the other side of all this, after Typhon, after you, it's just normal life. The tree is beautiful. I was kind of counting on you to show me how to do that. But I think I can figure it out. I just wish you were here to see it. Hmm. Oh, um, also, I kissed Ryan. <laughs> so. That happened. Hmm. All right. Don't get me up this pike about the USB thing. <sighs> Up there is. Alex. Do you have the USB drive? I do. It's all here. Gabe's call, their secret plan, the cover up. Why you shake your head? You need to come with me to the station. Uh oh. Alex, don't make this hard. What? What? He was being serious. I knew it. She should have told him. Probably isn't how you pictured your first spring festival, huh? Not exactly. Coffee?
No thanks. I'm all right. Thanks, though. Good. Because we're uh, actually out. <laughs> okay. Pike, why am I here? The long and short of it is, Diane is charging you with stealing her USB drive. What? That's bullshit. It, it literally That's is. bullshit. I haven't done anything wrong. They're the criminals here. Why did she just lock in the USB, dude? Did you steal this USB drive or not? At least tell me you looked at it. I can't. Sorry. What do you mean you can't? You're a cop. Why not? What do you mean? Why not? Well, one, I would need a warrant. And two, the case is closed. But you said... The order came down today. I did what I could, but, you know, the evidence just wasn't there. Sorry, Alex. But there's evidence in the drive, dude. How kind of cop are you? Wait, or, or from who? The order came down today from who? High up. Bosses, bosses, boss. It's not my job to know. Uh, yeah. Look, what happened to my brother wasn't an accident. It was criminal. The files on that drive prove it. That could be true. But let's say it is. The issue is, you stole Typhon's property. I can't work with that. Okay, I get the point. I'm sorry I stole the drive, but... Apologizing isn't enough. Alex, you're not thinking about this clearly. Seems pretty clear to me. Diane wants to charge you with computer fraud. That's a federal crime, Alex. Five to ten, easy. Diane. You know what? Fuck Diane. This isn't justice. This is a joke. It's not that bad. Hey, I talked to her. And despite how angry she is at everything you did, she's willing to let it go. If you agree to drop everything, Typhon won't press any charges. Why the deal? Why would she do that? She just wants this whole thing to go away. This is how to make that happen. She looks like all like she's scared. Fuck that. I'm not signing anything. Alex. No. Typhon buried something in the mountains. Something so massive they ignored Gabe's call and set off the blast just to cover it up. Don't you want to know what it is? What do you mean, cover it up? Another blast, unannounced, set off at the exact same time at the old mining site. And all of it happened just a few weeks before inspections were set to begin. Come on, Pike. It's all right here. 
come on. Like I said, it doesn't matter. Alex, please, just sign the form, and we can both go back to the party. No. Alex, this is not an offer that you can choose. I said no. No is not an option. See, he's scared. What are you so scared of? See for yourself. Shit. What could be in that envelope? Fuck me. Pike's really shaken. They really are freaking watching. Crying. Is this a threat? What did you expect? Huh? The Typhon, a global organization with billions in revenue, an army of lawyers, and who knows how many politicians in their pockets would just what, throw up their hands and say, you got us. I thought I could get justice. I thought I could get justice for Gabe. Yeah. Well, Typhon has their own idea of justice. Shit. Believe me, I want nothing more than to make these fuckers pay. I've learned the hard way that it's not possible. They're too big. Too connected, too ruthless. You can hate me if you want. Call me a coward. But I don't want to lose you like we lost Gabe. Pike is terrified of Typhon. I bet if I took his fear away. But it's not just about me. Steph and Ryan are in danger too. Fuck. I want to hurt Typhon so bad. But can I really put their lives at risk along with mine? Hmm. <laughs> Take his fear away, will he help her? <sighs> the 
really, really hope it's not gonna be like Charlotte. And I'll be screwed up. You wanna risk your life over this? Gabe, Mac, Alex? Who's next? Fuck. 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 Just keep your head down, Tony. You're just a shit heel. Typhon's major league. Typhon doesn't lose. Typhon disappears, people. Let them get killed. Not you. I know you're afraid. I am too. I know you think that Typhon is too big, too invincible. But they're not. I will bring them down. I just need your help. For Gabe. If not for me, then for Gabe. Please. Fuck. I'll think about it. Thank you. Get the hell out of here. Really? Alex, be careful. Those pictures. How long have they been watching us? And what will they do if... Uh-oh. I have no idea what to do next. Maybe talking to Jed will help me feel better. Yeah, let's go talk to Jed. First, I need to get out of this dress. Yeah. Right. I'll treasure it too, Ryan. Enjoy that ice cream. Trust. Might as well go talk to Jed now. Let's go talk to Jed. Whoa. I think I'm gonna sneeze. There she is. Have a seat. Does he know about the USB thing, or did Something they? Something tells things? me you've had a more exciting spring festival than you planned for. Uh, does he know? Did they he can't. saw Pike arrest me. And let you go, apparently. Then there's that business with Ryan and Steph earlier today. I wasn't sure why it took all three of you to work out Diane's lunch order. How? Oh, he's off. I know you're used to looking out for yourself. 
Gabe was like that. But Haven's a community. We help each other. I want to help you. But first, you have to let me know what's going on. Fuck it. What have I got to lose? Typhon killed Gabe. Typhon killed Gabe. I have proof. What proof? I stole it from Diane. Emails and documents proving there was a second explosion the night Gabe died. To cover something up, Jed. Some secret they buried. I don't know what it is. I don't even know what to do next. But I'm not giving up. Not ever. I know what they're hiding. What? Oh, so he knows because they said he it was him that What is it? What is it? Please, Jed. What's the truth? What are they afraid of? Typhon's the devil that runs this town. I've been carrying their secrets for far too long. I know what they buried in the mountains. Tell me. I'll do one better. I'll show you. Damn. Are they going to tell mine? There, up ahead. Where are we? Middle of nowhere. About two clicks that way is the mining site where you search for Ethan. Five clicks that way is town. What is this thing? Ventilation shaft. They're scattered everywhere. Over the years, mines grow into mines, creating a labyrinth under Haven. What you're searching for is down below. A <sighs> It's down there. Are they bodies? Jed. Why are you sad? <gasps> I'm sorry, kid. What? I told him. Oh! Oh! Just put the gun down. I tried to talk you out of it, scare you off. I was sure those pictures of Ryan and Steph would do the trick, but you were relentless. Won't leave damn well enough alone. You don't have to do this. I do. Twelve years ago, I made a mistake. The kind of thing that you... you can't undo. The Typhon made me a deal. A way to save my town. Give my boy a normal life. I never wanted Gabe to get hurt. You <gasps> shot in the face.
God I'm gonna sink it with staff. Fire. Okay, God. On the couch. Oh, she's on the couch. Okay. Okay. Oh, mostly staff. Oh, 50 50. I'm putting it on. I'm going to the bus on. Oh. Focus on the perfect doctor. Oh. That's okay. Damn. So damn numb. Shit. Side B. What's that mean? <gasps> what happened? <gasps> Welcome back, Alex. Do you want to talk about your time in color? Wait, what the hell did I just do? Let's start with something positive. What did you learn from your visit to Haven Springs? I thought I learned what it means to make a place your home. That must have felt like quite the victory. <clears throat> Let's talk about how it feels to know that you might have been wrong. Oh my god, I thought I accidentally restarted the game. That gave me a damn heart attack. I suppose I'm proud of you for trying. You helped some people. Chased a mystery. Got to kiss a sweet boy. But Alex, you're right back where you started. You're wrong. You're wrong. I don't belong in here. If that were true, Alex, you'd know you were talking to an empty chair. What? Wow, okay. What the fuck? I guess that's me. Case number five three three two two. Oh, she's twenty one. That's how old I am. Thrown down a what? Uh -oh.
These don't belong to Dr. Lin. Is Dr. Lin her mom? A tuning peg. Take. Uh, why would you take them? the hell? To her? Is that what I look like? Really? What's the door? <laughs> um, Alex Chen. My guitar case has never heard of me. Sure. Oh, I see. Open. It's five five. It's five. Five two two. What did the paper say again? I guess oh, five me. three three two two. Okay. Whoops. Okay. Now. Five three three two two. Five three three two two. Okay. Okay. Five. I saw she was struck in the head. <laughs> She's alive.
Oh. Damn. Come on, I gotta make it out of there. Alex, justice for Keith. No. Okay, great. We're back. Alex. Oh. Gabe. <gasps> You're dead. So? Lots of people are dead, Alex. Most people. Where are we? I want to say a hospital. Dr. Mendez to intensive care. Dr. Mendez to intensive care. Yep, definitely a hospital. Gabe. Okay, here's what I do know. You are 10, I am 14. Our mother is sick, so is our father. But it's a different kind of sickness. Play your part. Gabe, why? I didn't do anything. Stop. Both of you. Dad. Behave. That's their father? Alex, go check on your mother. Okay. She was right over there, waiting for me. Gabe, Alex, I need you to listen very carefully. We got some scary news today, and I'm going to be spending some time at the hospital. What? Mom, are you okay? now it's going to be okay do you understand me things will be different for a little while but i am going to be okay How many nights did Dad spend in this room, sleeping in an uncomfortable chair, and eating vending machine dinners? Damn. There's something so weird and scary about watching your dad cry. Mom. She looks tired. <coughs> <coughs> Mom. 
Mom. <laughs> Mom. <laughs> Such a brave girl. How do you ever get so brave? Is that how it went? You don't think you missed anything? <laughs> Ow! Gabe, why? I didn't do anything. Stop. Both of you. Dad. Behave. No matter how much Mom drank, her throat was always dry. Yeah. We spent so much time in here that I basically memorized every article. Oh, we spent. Gabe told me it was full of needles. It scared me to death. It's too hot in this room. She's just on the other side. Let's try again. Dad's on the night back. How many nights did Dad spend in this room? Sleeping in an uncomfortable chair and eating vending machine dinners. There's something so weird and scary about watching your dad cry. Mom, what am I missing? What did we talk about? Some water. Oh, the water. You almost never cried, even when you were very small. Did you know that? Hmm. That's been my biggest challenge with you. How do you take care of someone who is already so strong? Was that where her guitar piece is? I want you to make me a promise. Mm. Your brother, your father, they are going to need you. You have to be strong. 
We would do that, Alex. <sighs> Make me cry. Aww. Is it her necklace? Such a brave girl. How do you ever get so brave? Okay. Oh. <laughs> oh. What's that? TV. Are we doing like flashbacks right now? Okay, I'm sorry, this is October. Shushu. Wait, is this her room? Was that the last time you talked to her? Yeah. Mom. I... I think so. Do you miss her? Horse. Gabe, what's going on? You're 11, I'm almost 15. Dad and I are time bombs. You keep running back and forth trying to defuse us both. This is going to suck so bad. Oh. Play your part. Almost empty. Almost always. Two cups water for one cup rice. Set timer for 30 minutes. Do your history homework. Serve. Gabe used to steal Dad's beer all the time. What? It was like the one thing they didn't fight about. Two cups water for one cup no. rice. Set timer for 30 minutes. Sauce. We never really touched these after Mom died. She was such a good cook. Hmm, you see that? All right, uh, door. Gabe and Dad were so loud when they fought. Open the door. Where are you going? Are you gonna tell her? Or is that my job? 
Keep your voice down. Fine, I'll do it. Alex, dad lost his job again. So we're broke again. Don't talk to me that way. Despite what you may believe, you do not know everything. You think what? I laid myself off? It's okay. We'll figure it out. I could, um... I don't know, Dad. But what are we supposed to do now? We gotta eat. We can sell some records. Or or what about my guitar? We can sell that? Alex, what is it gonna take to get you to stop defending him? If your mother could see you now... I don't want to hear about Mom. Babe! <laughs> I'm so tired of you using her as an excuse to be a piece of shit. <laughs> Don't fucking touch me, piece of shit. Dad. <gasps> <gasps> Damn it, Alex. I'm okay. It's okay. It was an accident. Alex, I... I, I, I didn't... Dad. Dad, it's okay. Really, I'm not hurt. <laughs> I can't do this. Dad? Oh, so that's why they were sent to... Oh, wait, what's going on? Oh. Someone will come. That woman from CPS. Child Protective Services? Someone. He's gonna abandon them? Dad! I'm sorry. No. Uh, no. Dad! Did she just break it? Oh, what's this? Hey, can I ask you a question? Which orphanage is this? The one in Grant Park? Oh. Kind of thought it'd be nicer. I can't do this, okay? I... I can't. You need to. No. You need to be honest about what you see. I was. I have. And now I'm done. Almost. But not yet. You are 12. I am 16. I steal a car and end up in juvie. Gabe, come oh. on. Then you're 13, 14, 15. Orphanages, group homes, musty rooms in the strange houses of foster parents. By the time you're 17, you've seen them all. Somewhere along the line, you start to feel things. Your own emotions don't belong to you. You have nothing. No one. You are alone. I don't want this. Alex. Play your part. Play my part. 
I used to write one every day. Stupid. Why? You clearly missed him. And I thought he missed me. Hence, stupid. How are you holding up, Shu? Can't believe how long you've had that thing. That thing was my only friend after you left. Well, there are my strings. Where's my guitar? They should have stenciled the same thing on all of us. Do you really feel like you were their property? We didn't belong to anyone else, did we? I took a fork in here one time and hid it under my mattress. Just cause, fuck you. Barkman down Jesus. They used to say this place wasn't a prison. Maybe they were trying to keep you safe. Guess so. Whatever the reason, the end result was prison bars. Gotcha. <laughs> they put me on so many meds. God damn. Did any of them ever work? Some of them helped. A little. None of them fixed me. In their defense, mutant empathy isn't exactly in the DSM. We weren't, al we weren't allowed to bring glass into the dorms. So we had to drink from this thing. Like hamsters in a cage. Yeah. Except if you give a hamster a glass, they don't toss it at the other hamsters' heads. Pretty sure it's locked. Must be after yeah. curfew. We're not going anywhere. They lock you in? Why the hell would they do that? Guess I missed a few days. I remember the kid who put this here. Sadie... Sally. Um, uh, something with an S? You were friends at first, right? Way at first. Then I freaked out on her and she was done with me. Just like everyone else. His outfit. Fancy. Everyone had one good outfit. We wore them to meet the parents. Did it help? Wow. Kinda think you already know the answer to that question. Footwalker. She's been through so much. I just don't know if we're prepared for a troubled girl. It says here she's sensitive. What is that? I wonder why she's never found a home before. She's not for us. She's awfully old, isn't she? This is the kid that's been in all those fights. Right? <laughs> I want to help. I, I really do. I, there's just something... Off. Broken. Wrong. With her. This makes me 
they feel so bad for kids in foster care and stuff? They must Sorry. Do they really suck today? Why? You need to see it. See what? That nobody picked me? Nobody picked you. Nobody picked you. Nobody wanted you. Mom died. Dad left. I bailed. You couldn't keep us together. It was my job to keep us- You were 11 years old. You were 11 years old. You were a kid, Alex. Let it go. People leave. Life gets hard. Sometimes it's a big shit sandwich. Make it better. Be angry at dad. Miss mom. Hell, be angry at me. But don't give up. No one gets to tell you what you're worth. And no one can take your life away. Fight. I'm not sure I... You have a gift. It's something you don't even understand. You can change the world. Yeah. Make it better. Now get up. What? Get up and fight. Alright, we're going back to the... Oh, don't tell her her phone's broken. It's broke. Okay. Okay. Just match if you could text Ryan and say, your, your asshole dad shot me and left me to die. Oh, she's hurt. It's a goddamn light flame in mine. At least there's now explosive pollution down there. Jesus, it fell, um, fell down a long way. Mines growing into mines, just like Jen said. Hell, I'm going to choose not to read anything into this. I could almost laugh if it wouldn't hurt so much. How long has this stuff been down here?
no, 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 come on, no, 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 she is so I did this. Okay. That aura is the only lead I've got. Getting close. Held average for life, huh, Jed? Dig so deep, we see where the devil sleeps. Goddamn right. This is it. This is what Typhon tried to bury. A lot of runoff moisture in this soil. Jed, we gotta call it. This dig is fucked. Nothing's fucked. Jed, we got no pumps running. No, my teams have never quit a dig this deep before. We finish the job. Steady goes. Steady. Fuck was... Move! Come on! Clear the tunnel! Who's on radio? Jed! Fuck! Jed! Jed! Oh my god. We gotta move! Now! There's still men back there. They'll drown. Yeah, and so will we if we don't get the fuck out. Make the call, Jed. God damn it. God damn it. Everyone, let's go. Now. <coughs> it smells like fireworks. Must be where Typhon blew the charges. What? Dad. No. Where's her? Dad! Come back! Dad, you son of a bitch! Jen, you gotta stop, man. Jen! Fuck you, Jen! Come back! It's over, Jen. He's not coming back. I'm sorry. Your dad died down there? I'm so sorry. me out.
tell. And during my time here, I've come to realize what makes Haven so special. It's a flower shop run by multiple generations. A bar owner who greets every customer by name. It's a spring festival tradition going back a hundred years. History, loyalty, pride. These values which define Haven are the same values that Typhon was built on. And that is why our partnership has been so successful. Oh, it's been, real it's been my, my privilege from to renew Alex. Typhon's commitment to Haven. We believe in this community and we're tremendously excited for its future. Oh, screw you, Diane. Thank you, Diane. I think I speak for all of us when I say we're eager to make this official. So, time to vote, folks. And then lunch. Alex. Shit. Alex, oh my god. I'm fine. You are not fine. We have to get you to a doctor. What happened to you? This will be hard to hear. I found out something you need to hear. I'm sorry. What? Alex. You're hurt. Do you need help? We can call an ambulance. Typhon's been lying to all of you. And so has Jed Lucan. Alex, what's going on? Don't pretend, asshole. I know exactly what's going on. I was down in the mine last night. I saw what Typhon's been hiding for 12 years. Jed Lucan isn't a hero. That whole story is a lie. Jed caused the accident. And then he abandoned seven of his men. He let them drown to save himself. There were pictures of me and Gabe down there in the dirt. Because one of those miners was my father. Typhon wanted to keep this covered up in case it jeopardized the vote. They're afraid. Everyone at that company is scared to death. All they do is protect themselves. So they decided to bury the evidence. And nothing was going to stop that blast. Not even the fact that there were four people up in the mountains. That's how Gabe was killed. Jed knew all along. He covered up the truth about the past, about Gabe. And when I found out, as you can see, he tried to kill me too. Why aren't any of you saying anything? We don't want to embarrass you, Alex. I'm on. Try me. These accusations are... Well, they're insane. 
and trying to go into the mine was obviously a very dangerous, very illegal thing to do. But we all sympathize with your situation. You've been through so much. Your brother was your only family, wasn't he? I can only imagine how much you want an explanation for his loss. Something to give you comfort and make your life seem less unfair. Suppressed you know there's proof of the cover-up. You had Pike arrest me to suppress the evidence. Officer Pike arrested you for stealing items from my purse. Perhaps you were looking for evidence? And I found it. Which is why you and Jed tried to threaten me into silence. Dad? Do you have any idea what Alex is talking about? No. I don't. I've tried to be there for Alex since Gabe died. I thought, I don't know, I hoped I could be something of a father figure to her. All I can guess is, sometimes when we're hurting, the people we lash out at are the ones who are trying to help. You're a monster. You tried to kill me. How can you stand there and say these things? Alex. You're a monster. Please. I know this is hard to accept. You all trust him. I did too, but I'm telling the truth. I believe you. Of course I do. I would like to speak. I've known Jed a very, very long time. And, uh, is Jen? Alex? I'm realizing I don't quite know you as well as I thought. Some allowances must, of course, be made given your injuries and resultant confusion. But nonetheless, it saddens me to hear you make these terrible and incredible accusations against my friend. I've always found Alex to be a very trustworthy person. She wouldn't make these accusations lightly. Something must have happened. Miss Lath, there's no actual evidence of anything. Maybe not, but that's what I think. Charlotte. No. Leave me alone. I don't want any more of this. Charlotte. They killed Gabe. What are you trying to do? Take down Typhon? I won't bring him back. All I know is everything falls to shit when you're involved. There's something wrong with you, Alex. And now there's something wrong with me. I can't help you. I'm sorry. Don't worry, Alex. I got this. Oh, for fuck's sake. I have a USB stick full of recordings. Yes, we went through this yesterday. Your superiors closed the case. None of us have time for conspiracies. Yeah. You're trying to weasel your way out of things again, huh? I know your game. I know. Don't how test you... me, Jason. 
<laughs> you know what? I'm not scared of you anymore. And not of you, not Typhon. All right, that's enough. Deputy Pike, do you have some kind of personal issue with me? Like hell I do. Jason. Well, given that your judgment in this matter is emotionally compromised, you should probably remove yourself oh, from- cut the crap. If you think you could shut me up- Jason, I think you better call it. I'm going to It concerns me that a voting member of this council has openly admitted to a personal bias This is a load of bullshit. I don't believe this. ridiculous. We're all getting ahead of ourselves. You believe me, right? I'm not your lap dog anymore. Ryan? Why are you doing this? My dad is not a murderer. Were you afraid we couldn't get Typhon? Is that why you need someone else to blame? I thought we were in this together for Gabe. And me. I thought you cared about me. What? Ryan. No. I'm not gonna let you do that to me anymore. Ryan, what the hell? I know he's your dad, but look at her. Why would she lie about this? It's going too far. Alex almost died. It's not true. Fuck you, Ryan. After everything? Seriously, fuck you! Stop. <gasps> Op, what's going on? I know why you tried to kill me. It's not what you tell yourself. That you thought it was best for Haven. This was never about Haven at all, was it? This was about you. I know it's easier not having to think about the men you buried. You want to look away and pretend the people you hurt aren't people. But I won't let you. My father worked for you. His name was John. He was a fighter. The world never gave him anything for free. He fought just to stay alive. He fought for us. Maybe it was finally winning. But you killed him. And then Gabe, my big brother. He was happy. You know, when we were kids, we goofed around to escape, to pretend everything was better for a little while. When I got to Haven, the first thing we did was dance around like total dorks. And it wasn't an escape from anything. He was happy for the first time in his life. But he died. Because of you. And then there's me. For so many years, I just wanted to survive, to get through. They even changed me. I started to think about the future. I want to help people. Because... It's something I'm good at. Knowing I'm good at something feels fucking great. And you tried to murder me. 
You would have ended my life just so you wouldn't have to face the truth. You've forgotten it. Haven't you? You've plastered over it with another story. You tell yourself you're a good man. You take care of so many people. You gave me a roof and a job. You checked on me when I was grieving. Such a good, generous man. But that's the lie. If you scrape it away, what do we see? Eleven years ago, you led a group of men to their deaths. And you couldn't even say those words out loud because you're a coward. You couldn't imagine saying it to your wife, saying it in front of your son. Every day you were brave enough to go underground and look death in the eye. But you couldn't muster the courage to admit a mistake. I can feel you trying to pull away. Don't. The truth hurts. Sometimes it's so awful you think you're gonna break. But when you come out the other side, and you're whole and free and still alive, then you'll finally know how strong you really are. I see the truth about you. You hate yourself. You hate what you did in the past. You hate what you've done to keep it secret. And the more you deny that hatred, the worse it grows. I know who you are. I've seen the worst parts of you. I think maybe we should condemn him. And I condemn you. Years ago. A recent cover up 
which involved a clandestine and unpermitted explosion to thwart inspections, caused the death of Haven local Gabe Chen last month. Mr. Lukin is currently in police custody, awaiting arraignment. Hmm. We will have plenty more about this developing story, including the resignation of Typhon CEO, the market impact, and what it all means for your drive time commute coming right. Oh, she's she has a scar on her yeah. head now. The silence is worse. I need to get some air. <sighs> After summoning all my strength and willpower, I'm now ready to move from the bed to the rooftop. Do I need a Charlotte Harmon portrait? I kind of think I need a Charlotte Harmon portrait. I've got some continued support for you. The phrase, recent events, is doing some work in this post. Hmm. It never ends. I'm so sorry I worried you all. I bet Steph wishes she could reword that, but it's pretty funny. plot the, the dude You lost for words? Amazing. to see me again, I could have apologized in person. Watch. Yo, is that yo, is that yo? Come for a while. She's your mind, you can be. Thank you. Oh, it's Ryan. I'm 
so sorry. I know. What you said, the truth about my dad, I, I couldn't accept it. Maybe I wasn't strong enough. Can you ever forgive me? We should forget because he never knew. He never knew. I already do. You faced something horrible. And for a moment, you turned away. I should have known. Maybe deep down I did, but... I just couldn't accept it. Oh. But it's out now. And as horrible as it is, we don't have to face it alone. We have each other. Hmm. So, what's next for Alex Chen? I guess I'm asking because I'm in. I mean, whether it's here or anywhere else, if you want me, I'm there. Thank you. That's really sweet, Ryan. Thank you. Don't mention it. I'm not used to getting to decide what I want. I guess I'd better think about it. I guess so. You know where to find me. Tell me. What? My future. What to do? The night of the Spring Fest, Ryan made a strong case for why I should stay in Haven. The idea of making this place my home. It seemed nice. Of course. That was before all the shit went down. <laughs> Come on, you're the know-it-all. So tell me. Actually, I do know what you should do. You should stay in Haven. Really? You really think so? Of course. You finally have a home, a job, people who actually like you. Yeah. Why would that's you do true. that? Yeah. That's true. <sighs> then again, maybe leaving would be better. What? You're young, you suddenly have a little money, friends. And don't you think it's time to give this music thing a real shot? No, you should definitely leave. 
Oh, fuck off. <laughs> Stop it, Gabe. I don't need the mysterious spirit bullshit right now. I just need... I just need my big brother. So this is no she can see dead people now? I'm sorry. I know. Is Gabe a ghost?
you. Don't mention it. You really think I'll transform Haven? Of course. You already have. With your gift, your music, just by being you. But Alex, that doesn't mean you have to stay. You have the potential to do that anywhere you go. Go where? Where am I supposed to go? I don't have any other home. That is true. But you didn't have any home before coming here. And look what happened. The truth is, there's no telling what that version of your future might be. The only promise is the adventure. So, what do you think? Stain Haven. I know what I want. He already knows. Sue to the cat. Wait, they actually ha used a cat to voice Valkyrie. That's so cute. That's so adorable. You have the, the Thanor and Alto thing. I think that was supposed to... Jed is Cravius. I think that was supposed to be a sign that he's evil. He's bad. Thanks for playing. Alright, okay. Some stats. Okay, I don't want me to decide to see Oh, uh, a lot of people forgave Chad. Damn it. Okay, I'll just give you one. Not to fear. 
actually her emotions are some members of the cops. Okay, that's that's great. Cool. That's great. Okay, Alex didn't sit on the bed. She did. She didn't see Ryan. She ought to turn her back on Alex. Pike sided with her. Ducky sided with Alex during the vote. Ducky already woke to Chad. Hmm. Ryan believed Chad during the vote. Wow. Wow, this game was incredible. Wow. Damn. If you want to play this game yourself, it's on Steam. Yeah, it it released, uh, I think, in the summer. Yeah. If you like this video, click the like button down below and or subscribe and till next time bye